multiplying by doubling and halving and decomposing. So let me talk about doubling and halving and decomposing. Uh, there are two different methods, or in, in one example, you can use both of them. So let me give you an example, say 18 times 4. So if you want to do by doubling and halving, if you don't know 18 times 5, uh, I'm going to write this as 9 times 10. So what I have done is, I have halved this. This is half of 18 is 9. So if you halve 18, you have to double 10 to maintain the same proportion. So 18 times 5 is same as 9 times 10, which is 90. Okay, by decomposing, how would you do this? The same thing. 18 times 5 is same as 5 times 18. Okay, this is called the commutative property. Okay, 5 times 18. This is same as 5 times 10 plus 5 times 8. So this is nothing but 50 plus 40, which is equal to 90. Okay, so let me, let us use this, uh, these two strategies to do two examples uh, that I have selected. So let us start the first question. The first question is 43 times 28. Okay, so let us start with doubling and halving. So 43 times 28, I'm going to double this. Okay, so this is double of 43 is 86. So if you double this, you have to halve this. So this is 86 times 14. Okay, now again, I'm going to double this. So I don't know double of this. So 80 plus 80. So 80 times 2 is 160. And 6 times 2 is 12. So this is 172. So if you double this, that is 172 times 7. Now if you double this, this will become, you have to half this, so that will become quite complicated. So this will be 3 and a half. So I don't want to go into that. From Now from this, this is same as 7 times, 7 times 100. So let me write 7 times 172. So this is, seven this is seven this is same as seven times 172 so i'm going to distribute so i don't know seven times 172 but i know seven times 100 one stands for 100 which is 700 then seven times 70 so i know seven times seven is 49 so this is 490 and I got 7 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, so the answer is, this is 4, 9 plus 1 is 10, carry over 1. So this is 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 1 is 12. So 1204 is the answer. Okay, we can, we'll check this on the calculator later on. So let us take the next, uh, do the next question. The next question is 72 times 24. So the same process, I'm going to double this and half this. So this is same as uh, 72. Oh, I'm going to double this, sorry. So if you double 72, it is 144 times 12. So this is 100, double of 100 is 240, double of 44 is 88. So this is 288 times 6. Okay, so I, 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 can, I can again double this and halve this. So this is double of 200 is 400, double of 80 is 160, and double of 8 is 16. So this is 576. So this is 576. Let me write this better. So this is 576 times half of 6 is 3. So I'm going to write this as 500 times 3 
which is 1500 then you got this 7 which stands for 70 so 70 times 3 is 210 and finally 6 stands for 6 so this is 6 times 3 which is 18 so let us add this so this is 8 lining up the numbers according to place value so this is 2 and this is 1728 so let us use a calculator to check whether we have got it right so the first question was 43 times 28 so let me move the calculator 43 times 28 is 1204 that was right and the next question was 72 times 24 72 times 24 is 1728 